Thank you for coming back. So we meet again and this afternoon we are going to study something on light. And specifically, we are going to do revision on the convex lens. Now many students have told me that it's very difficult to study this section on, on the lenses. Actually, it is very simple. You just follow the guidelines and, and follow my advice. Again, I'm going to tease you. You will see light at the end of this lesson. All right? I'm sure at the end of the lesson, you will find that actually it is as, a, as easy as ABC. It's very simple. And once again, we are going to answer past year questions and see how it works. From the past year questions, we are going to revise the concept. All right, that is the question here. SPM 2006, paper 1. Diagram 16 shows the formation of the image of an object by a convex lens. So, this is the question. Very clear. If the height of the object here is 2cm, what is the height of the image? Now, remember that in a question like this, normally the diagram given to us is not according to scale. So, you cannot just measure it and get the answer. You have to do a calculation. And they give us five answers in that year. So we have to work it out. So what is the answer? Now this is the whole question staring at us. But then, we have to ask ourselves one question. Alright, this is the question given to me. What can I do? What must I do? Or what should I do? And straight away, remember our first lesson? Formula page. Alright? Remember, I did mention that the formula page is so important. And once you have done it, you will begin to understand that, oh yes, linear magnification is given in the question. So it might have something to do with linear magnification. V over U. What is V? Image distance. What is U? Object distance. Alright, so now let us do some calculation from this question. This is the question. Alright. The answers are given. This is the formula page that I have always emphasized. I'll use a darker highlight this time so that you won't forget. Alright. So just remember that M is equal to V divided by U. And this will be the image, uh, this will be the formula that I'll use. Alright. Now let's look at the question again. So I'm going to write it here this time and write it as clearly as possible for you to follow. Look at this. This is the object. This is 8cm. So in terms of the formula, we have m equals to v over u. So what is this quantity, 8cm? 8cm is from the object to the mirror. Uh, sorry, to the lens. So... What do we have? Of course, you can tell me, isn't it? This is the object distance, u. Now, look at this now. We are given that from this point to this point of the image, it is 26 cm. So, what is the balance here? What is the distance here? What is this distance? What is the value for it? I'm sure you can tell me. Okay, simple, it is 18 cm. The next thing that I would like to ask is, this 18 cm is from the lens to the image. So what is the quantity? Ha, see, you are talking among yourselves and you are saying that it is V. It is the image distance. So I write down V equals to 18 centimeters. So look at this equation. Is M given? No. Is V given? Yes, indirectly. Is U given? Yes. So I can actually work it out. Alright, what is M? M is equals to V, I just substitute inside, 18 cm divided by U. I have got 8 cm. Just leave the value as it is. Now, right now, we have to ask ourselves another question. 
What is another definition for linear magnification M? Alright. Let's say that the image height or the size of the image is, I call it H I. I for image. Okay, let me enlarge it, this part. Alright. So, what is the this 2cm here. Sorry. Okay. Now, H1 divided by 2cm. H1 is the size of the... HI, I mean. HI is the size of the image. Divided by the size of the object. Size of the object is H0. Alright. 2 centimeters. This is also linear magnification. So, M here and M here it is the same value, the magnification. So, what do I do? I actually now equate this two. This is actually equals to this. I can work out what is HI. Because that is the question. Look at the question. It says, what is the height of the image? HI. Alright, so now down here, I'm going to work it out. HI divided by 2 centimeters equals to 18 centimeters divided by 8 centimeters. And very quickly here, HI, you work it out, you will get the answer 18 over 8 multiplied by 2 centimeters. Alright. So I do manual, my answer would be 4.5 centimeters. Alright, so this is the question and this is the way of working it out. So to summarize it, what are the main points in this lesson? You must understand the definition of object distance, image distance, and you must also understand the meaning of linear magnification in terms of V and U and linear magnification in terms of height of image over the height of the object, which is 2 centimeters here. So go and look for other questions, work things out, and you will find that these calculations are actually very simple. Alright, so I hope you continue to enjoy studying your physics. Thank you once again, and may God bless you.